Today's lesson is lesson 12.8, volume and surface area of similar solids. So remember, similar solids have um, a, a similar similarity ratios, meaning that all of the measurements are proportional. The side lengths or the lateral area is proportional. The base areas are proportional. So remember that we learned if you have a scale factor, that's also called the similarity ratio. So if the similarity ratio of a similar solid is two to three, that means the ratios of their areas would be a squared to b squared, which would be four to nine, and the similarity ratios of their volumes would be a cubed to b cubed, which would be eight to 27. So we're gonna determine whether the pair of solids are similar, congruent, or neither. And if the solids are similar, similar, we have to identify the similarity ratio. So for example number one, you'll see I'm gonna compare the height. So let's look at the next shape. I have a radius of six compared to a height of 15. Radius of six compared to a height of 16. So I know that they're not congruent. I also know that they don't have the same similarity ratio. Six over six is not the same as 15 is to 16. So these are not similar, not congruent, their similarity ratios are not the same. The radius of 6 over 6 is not the same as the height 15 over 16. Okay? So let's look at example number 3. So two similar cones have a radius of 9 and 12. So I'm going to draw those. I have two cones. One has a radius of 9, and one has a radius of 12. What is the ratio of the volume of the smaller cone to the large? So the A to B ratio, which is 9 to 12, can be reduced, divide by 3, to 3 over 4. I want to find the A cubed to B cubed ratio. So a cubed, 3 cubed is 27, over b cubed, 4 cubed is 64. So what is the ratio of the volumes of the smaller cone to the large or cone? That would be 27 to 64. So the softballs that are shown are similar. We need to find the radius of the smaller softball if the radius of the larger is about 1.9 cubic inches. So given is the A cubed to B cubed ratio. So I have 9.15 pi over 4.06 pi. And this is the cubed ratio. These are the volumes. So if I were to take the cubed root of each one of these, 
first of all, I'm going to reduce out the pies. <clears throat> so the cubed root. So the cube root of 9.15. The cube root of 9.15 is about 2.09. And the cubed root of 4.06 is about 1.59. So I need to find the radius of these knowing that the radius of the larger is about 1.9. So we're going to solve this by cross multiplying. So I have 1.59x equals 2.09 times 1.9, which is 3.971, divide that by 1.59, and I find out that the radius of the smaller one is about, to the nearest tenth, 2.5. All right, the containers below are similar solids. Find the height of the smaller container. So I see that the volume of the small cylinder is 80 pi. The volume of the larger cylinder is 270 pi. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the pies, and I'm going to divide them both by 10. So to find the similarity ratios, I'm going to take the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 27, and that gives me 2 over 3. So the similarity ratio 2 over 3 is compared to the height of the small one, we'll call it 8, over the height of the large one, we'll call it 6. Cross multiply, 3, 8 equals 12. That means the height of the smaller one is 4 inches. So basically that's it. Um, your assignment is a short one today, but you are just going to use similarity ratios to find um, like the volume or the surface area of a missing shape, or you may find the missing measure of the similar solids given the volume uh, or the surface area.